Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Child Care Business Executive Tools. My name is Ashley Benz. Uh, this is Nova. This is my five-year-old daughter. Uh -huh. And you want to go ahead and say something, sweetie, before we get started? And my name is Nova Benz. That's right. And did you want to tell them about, while you guys are joining, um, Nova's going to tell you guys, what do you what do you want to show them today? Um, my car. It's okay. What is it? Um... My tea. Your tea. So you want to pick up your tea and show them? So while you guys are joining today, we're going to be talking about dealing with the angry parent. Here is what to say. Right here. Yeah, there's Nova's tea. Yes. <laughs> so, all right. I just want to make sure I'm good because it's showing that I'm, it's got a blinking live and I haven't seen that before. Yeah. Uh, so again, today's topic, you guys, I'm going to be talking to you about dealing with the angry parent. Here's what to say. All right. Um, we are in some trying times right now. Um, you've got a lot of people that are upset. Y'all, we are all quarantined with kids at home. And um, so, yeah, so we're going to talk about that, okay? Uh, so as you guys are coming on in, come on in and, and say hello to me. Let me know you can hear and see me okay. For those of you that are new to me, again, my name is Ashley Benz of AshleyBenz.com. Uh, I'm the founder and creator of Child Care Business Executive Tools. And I am a child care business automation consultant. What I do is I teach early childhood educator administrators, um, child care business owners, and preschool, uh, preschool program directors. I basically um, teach them how to take their non-automated child care business and turn it into an automated child care business model that can ultimately first... And what's what's my passion is to help them to um, upgrade your child care business. And so you're going to do that by doing that into a non um, taking your non automated uh, business model to a automated business model and not only upgrading and up leveling up leveling your child care business, but also um, up left up leveling your lifestyle to ensure a great work life balance. So uh, come on in, you guys. Happy. Yeah, come on. Thursday. I don't know why I want to say Monday, but every day kind of feels like a Monday, right? <laughs> when you're quarantined. Um, so essentially, my goal is I just want to help as many owner, owners as I can not live a watered down lifestyle. Um, also, if you're trying to get started, I also um, offer a step by step plan on how to do that. It's my How to Get Started Academy, and um, I show you licensing and all those things. Uh, in regards to becoming a licensed child care business owner. Now, somebody might be asking what qualifies me to do this. Well, because I actually owned, operated, ran, and directed a child care business for 10 years. Um, and what's a little bit unique about my child care business journey is that I actually have ran a child care business two ways. I have ran it one without automation, and I've ran it with automation. And the difference is life changing. So, hence, if you guys see Nova here, um, this is the result of child care business automation. <laughs> uh, because we struggled to get pregnant, and it took us about six years, and all this kind of came about after uh, we turned our uh, child care business into an automated model so my body could relax. And here we go, right? <laughs> so, um, all right. So, again, as you're coming in, we're gonna talk about. If you are dealing with an angry parent, here's what to say. Again, you guys, we are in some trying times here. Um, you're not going to please everybody with the decisions that you're making right now for your child care business. Um, also, uh, you know, people are quarantined with kids, losing jobs and things like that. And so you do have a lot of people out there that are angry right now. Um, and I'm going to I'm going to show you or uh, give you some tips on how to deal with that. Um so also, I do want to say this because I do get this question asked a lot is, do I work with people like, you know, all over the country? And, and the answer is absolutely yes. So I do have 10 years of experience, as I said, owning my own child care business. And I've also been working with owners across the world since 2016, running child care business executive tools. So my programs are international as well. Um, and we have, I have reached basically owners from the United Kingdom, France, Ireland, um, and I'm reading here, guys. Um, I've worked with clients in Australia, Caribbean, USA, uh, a lot of different places, okay? So that's the cool thing about what I do. 
Um, okay, dealing with an angry parent, here is what to say. But before we do that, real quick, go ahead. And as me and Nova have already done, go ahead and grab you something to sip on. Yeah, I'm grabbing something to sip with coffee. <laughs> with coffee. She, we're doing tea this morning. Yeah. Um, well, it's is it still morning, Nova? We're still morning. So we're doing tea today, this morning. And so I fixed her a little bit of some. But go ahead and grab you something. Go ahead and get you some a pen, some paper to take notes, you guys, so that you can keep this information handy. Um, let me see here. I see comments coming in, so we'll... We'll say hello real quick and then we'll jump right in. Hi, Don. How Hi. are you? Thank you so much. Hi. Don says I have a great assistant with me. I would have to agree with that, Don. Um, she's been a big help here. She's actually, you know, it's crazy Hi. because quarantine has been crazy. <laughs> but kids really make you like stop. And just like take a deep breath and just enjoy the moment. So we've been having a lot of fun um, hanging outside and just just enjoying this time together, right? So I appreciate that. <laughs> and then a lot of bugs. Yeah, we've had a lot of bugs coming as the weather's been warming up here in Kentucky. Um, mm -hmm. All right, last but not least, I would like to invite you to share, like, and love this video if you can do that for me. Um, also, uh, come on in, leave a comment down below. Uh, again, say hello. Let me know where you're coming from. I would love to know. We're here in Kentucky. I would love to know where you're coming from. If you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and also hit the subscribe button. And also hit the little bell so that you are notified of when I post up videos, you guys. And, and, I, All right. and then I have a dream. Nova had a dream, and so do you want to tell them real quick about your dream, and then Mommy's going to get started? What was your dream about? Um, While she's doing that, I'm going to take a sip of tea. Um, was it about, do you remember? Mm -hmm. What was your dream about? Um, um, in my closet, Elmo, just, Elmo um, um, disappeared in my room, and then, and then he get out of the closet, and then I was getting in my room, and then... And then he replied to me, and then there's another animal. Yeah. It was a little animal, and then, and then it was like this. Whoa! <laughs> so she had a dream about ammo jumping out of her closet or something like that. So um, that's a cool dream, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Very interesting dream, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, yeah. And Victor and, and, and Ashley and, yeah. and Pebble was here at home. Yeah. That's right. Well, thank you for sharing your dream, Mama. Okay, listen. I'm going to go ahead and get started with my little teaching here, okay? okay? All right. You can hang out and sip some tea with us. All right. Dealing with the angry parent, you guys. Hi, Sherry. How are you? Um, welcome. Here's what you're going to say. So, first of all, I'm, this is a little backstory. This video has come from some stuff I've been experiencing myself uh, here behind the scenes of Child Care Business Executive Tools. And so, you guys, anybody that knows, um, if you are a content creator, um, a, you know, a lot of your content comes from just what goes on in your community, and um, it just stems from the things that you are just dealing with or things like that. So, um, the cool thing about dealing with issues is that it helps to create content. <laughs> And it's all things that we all deal with, right? Like it's 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 things that are um, normal that you're going to deal with in any kind of business that you're running. So the last few weeks, uh, I have had some negative energy that's been kind of just creeping around the child care business executive tools community. And I get it, guys. We're all quarantined. So, you know, I, I get that. Um, but, you know, I'm really big. The, the one thing that I take pride in is that um, I never look at what I do here is it's my business, but I look at it like it's it's um, it's a business that God has given me and he has uh, put me stewardship over. So I'm I'm really, really big about making sure that we have a community here that is, you know, healthy and encouraging and all those good things. And so um, so I'm I really make sure to watch the energy that is around in and around my community and so this last couple of weeks you know i've been having a little bit of some negative energy going on so um the other day um i actually had a client who decided to be very hostile towards me and went so far to um to just kind of say some demeaning things about my business and that's okay you know that's that's everybody has their opinion um i will tell you guys this now I have not always handled things right myself. 
And mm-hmm. I am one to definitely say that uh, it, in my younger years, yes, I have been someone that has just been like, hey, because I'm very blunt. And so if you guys follow me, you probably can pick up on that. But naturally, I'm a very blunt person. Um, and so I've had to learn how to be tactful with my words and just things like that. And even when I was running my child care business, this, I mean, you know, uh, I mean, there was loads of times I had parents come into my program and be angry. And I'm talking, I had one parent, you guys, I will never forget this. And they always say, like, you never forget what someone says. But, um, I mean, you might forget what someone says, but you never forget how they made you feel. And I had an angry parent to come in. And th- literally, this is what she was angry about. But we had her infant on a blanket. It was a blanket that she provided and we was given her infant tummy time. Well, she did not want her infant to be on the floor doing tummy time, you know, on the blanket that she brought it. We didn't know that. So she comes in, you know, she's picking up her, her baby and she goes off. The kids are there. Um, she was, just, it was, it was, she was very hostile. What do you mean? And so I don't do, that's just not the way that I handle my issues. And I'm going to tell you guys what to say. The next time you have an angry parent, okay? Um, But with, and the re, again, you guys, I'm bringing this topic up. Number one, because I'm dealing, I've dealt with this this week. Number two, because we are in a time where people are upset. You know, people are losing jobs. Uh, You know, people are dealing with children at home and maybe having to work from home. And, and so we, we are going through some, some trying times right now. And so I am aware that some of you all have decided to close your child care businesses, you know, due to the coronavirus. And I'm aware that you've had some families that have been totally upset with you about that. I'm aware that you've had families that have um, been hostile towards you and your business. And so we as business owners, we have to know how to handle that in a professional manner. Um, But here's what I do want to say. At the age of 37, I just had a birthday last Friday. Um, I cannot believe in three years I'll be 40, which is just crazy to me. But there is a standard of culture that I have always set for any of my businesses that I have ran. And if you're taking notes, write some of these things down. Um, But being unprofessional, handling disagreements and and being hot-headed and raising your voice at me, at any at, at me or any of my team or my staff or teachers um, does not fit into my culture at all. Like that, that doesn't work for me. And so, um, you know, I like to work with professional executives. Um, you know, when I was, you know, in my child care business, I work with all types of parents, but I prefer to work with parents that, you know, and just people in general that are professional. That's just what works for me. Um, and so again, you know, one of the things with our industry and what I love about our community here is that generally, and I, like, I've been doing this for four years, you guys, and I have never had this happen to me in my business. Um, and I also had some hate mail too. I had somebody, they had actually asked to, uh, they sent in a message and it was like, how do I unsubscribe from your email list? And I was like, okay, that's fine. We get that all the time. That's perfectly fine with us, you know? Um, and they was like, how do I unsubscribe from your email list? So support explain and tell them how to do that and they wrote back and said great thank you so much for telling me that because I hate your business so you're gonna get that that's just gonna happen that's just part of it um but I don't have to deal with that and you don't either is what I'm what I'm getting down to and so one of the things about that I love about our community um and I love about the people that we are as as early childhood educators is that we are naturally nurturing people most people are very kind. Um, we deal with children. So I feel that we just kind of have the um, characteristics of someone that typically we are the kind of people that people run over. So let me just put it to you like that. Okay, because we are so nurturing, because we are so um, giving and we give to children and families every single day. And so a lot of the times um, people can pick up on that. They can pick up on your goodness. And people will, they'll take your, uh, your, your, their, they'll mistake your weakness or what is it? Your kindness for weakness is what they'll do. And so I think that's just, that it's a good trait though that we have, right? Um, we need people that are caring for children that are nurturing, that, you know, that does have that demeanor about them. Um, 
Uh, but one thing I love is that we teach that to the children, right? You're teaching that to the kids in your classroom. You're teaching those things that, you know, hey, it's okay that if you have a disagreement or you don't like something, um, it is okay to express your feelings. That is perfectly okay. I know that I used to tell the kids in my classroom, I tell Nova that today, you know, um, if somebody comes up and they do something to you, it's okay, tell them. I don't like that. And that's what we would say. And, you know, I have uh, a little girl, hey, you know, so-and-so hit me. And so I'll be like, I said, you know, I, I would be like, and I'll say, oh, really? Is that, did they do that to you? Yes. And I'm like, okay, did you go back and tell them that you don't like that? Use your words. Um, so we teach these things. But the one thing I want to remind you all here that are executives, we also have to practice that. Okay. And I will be the first to say, I have not always done that. I have not always practiced what I have preached and what I have teached to the children that I care for in my classroom. But um, I think definitely with age and you just, you know, over time, you just like, you know, it, it doesn't even resolve anything. So, um, you know, you, again, though, you're you're not always going to get people that come in that deal with things in your child care business, um, maybe some something that you're that they don't like. They're not always going to come in and handle that the right way. So how do you deal with that? Okay. How do you deal with someone, a parent that comes in and yelling at you or, and I, it's, it, it's happened several times to me in my childcare business. Okay. How do you handle that? Right. You've got kids sitting there. You may have other parents that are in there. You may have been dealing with this because you had to make a phone call to say, Hey, we're going to have to close down because of quarantine. And you may have had a parent to yell in your ear over the phone. How do we deal with that as professional executives, okay? So here's what you're going to say. The next time that you come across an angry parent, and if you're taking notes, write this down. Here is what I want you to tell them. Number first, I want you to say, write this down. Give me a script, okay, to follow. Here at the name of your program, I like to handle conflicts by being swift to hear and slow to speak, okay? Um... I understand that you're upset and I have heard your concerns and I would like to find an answer to your issues, but I will need for you to calm down to better understand how to resolve this. Okay. So one of the things that I have learned, oh, and then after that, you need to uh, follow whatever parent complaint system that you have. So one of the things, and this is what I did with the angry uh, uh, customer that I had this week is, you know, I responded back and I just said, you know, listen, the way that I like to deal with conflicts is I like to be swift to hear and slow to speak. And you know, we've all heard that quote. That's why God gave us, what, two ears and one mouth. Because a lot of the times, you know, and I've done it, but and in my younger years, y'all, when I first started my child care business, oh, no, don't you dare come in here talk to me like that, right? <laughs> uh, but I usually, though, I have... I'm, I'm a pretty, it, it takes a lot. Let me just say this. It takes a lot to push my buttons. And even when my buttons are pushed, sometimes I'm so taken back that it's just kind of like natural reaction. It's just like, I don't really say too much, but being swift to hear and slow to speak, right? Um, also, because you guys, if you follow me, you know that I am, uh, the Bible is how I live my life. Um, it literally is my lifestyle. So whenever I do, have to deal with things, scripture will always pop into my head on how I need to handle that. Um, do I always follow? Nope. That's why I'm, that's why I'm here telling you how to do this. Cause the, the, how I know is that I've done, I've done it two ways. I have done it the wrong way. I have popped off, popped off at somebody. I have showed my unprofessionalism, you know, um, and all those good things. And I know that that doesn't resolve anything and it, it just, there's no point in it. And so that's why I'm coming and tell you, this is how you deal with that. Be swift to hear and slow to speak. The other scripture, and these are the two scriptures that have helped me this week to handle and be able to come up with what I'm going to do. Um, be swift to hear and slow to speak. And also, uh, if at all possible, live a peaceful and quiet lifestyle. And so when I kind of put those two verses together, um, it really just kind of helped me to slow down, okay? Take on what they're saying. 
I do believe that everybody's feelings are valid, whether I agree with that or not. I believe that if you're feeling a certain way, your feelings are valid, okay? Um, and we all know it's not so much of what you say, it's how you say it, right? But I don't allow anyone to stay in my programs or my community that belittles others, that uh, sows discord. I I don't do I don't do that here. Um, that uses hostile language towards others, and that does not offer a quiet and peaceful working relationship, and causes me or my team literally to have unnecessary stress. So these are the things for me that is a no. For you, you do need to have a list or something that you're like, okay, these are the things that is crossing the line. I understand as a parent, you might be upset. I understand that you're dealing with, I get that guys, but we are here to set examples in front of our children. And let me just say this. Now I could have went right on and just been popping off, right? And guess what? Guess who's watching me when I'm doing that? Guess who's watching me handling things when I'm doing that? Nova is, right? So what I'm teaching her to do is if there's a conflict or a problem, I'm teaching her to go pop off. Ooh, me. Um, that's right, but we don't do that. We use our kind words, don't we? Oh, yeah. Even if we're upset. Even if we're upset, we be kind, don't we? Mm, but that's I got, right. But I got lipstick on the door right here. That's okay. She says she got lipstick on the door. <laughs> and our my walls are white in here, so she gets a lot of stuff, but that's okay, and we can wipe it off. Um, again, disclaimer, I have not always handled things the right way, but what I want you to know that sometimes I, my myself, have been in the same situations with fam with parents um, at my child care program, and I kind of felt like I had to take it. And sometimes I don't know why I felt that way. Just be honest. Let's just be honest about it. But sometimes maybe it is like if you, well, if I lose this parent, then, you know, it's going to, uh, my, it's it basically, you know, I can't, I can't afford to lose another parent, right? You, that goes through your mind. Uh, you know, Sometimes, you know, we do subconsciously think that parents are always right because that is, their, you know, things like that, but they're not. Nobody is right. There's nothing right about coming into my business and belittling me or my team, showing any discord. And that's another thing with angry parents. And also, you guys, we can go ahead and add this to staff members as well. Okay. Can I get some, some yes and amens and hearts about staff members? Because they are also... In guys, the mix of all this, right? What, baby? And it's a new airplane. It's a new airplane. Honey, listen. You can get us in that airplane when this quarantine is off, and we, we can go somewhere, right? <laughs> um, I hope I'm helping y'all today. Uh, but that is, nobody ever need. I don't care, you know, but I, and I've always been like that. But you're not, nobody will come into my business and belittle my team Staff members are not going to come into my business and not, they're not going to be so in discord, right? And doing any of that, that is inappropriate. It's unprofessional. And, you know, we just don't stand for that. And you do not have to do that either. Quarantine, no quarantine. You don't have to do that either. Okay. Um, all right. I'm going to get down in the comments, you guys. I see comments and stuff going on. So let me get down in the comments. Um, Lena's, hi, Lena. Lena says, I love how transparent you are. Yes, this is this is what you're going to get over here when you come to my corner of the world. Um, hi, Sherry. And okay. This, and this is my, um, um, my, my beach pool. Your, ooh, mommy loves the beach, don't you? They, you know, that's my favorite place. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So, to wrap this all up, um, what I want to, what I want you to take from this is that yes, I have the same problems just like you do. Okay. Yes. You know, not everybody's going to be nice. Yes. We're going to have those problems, but as a professional, okay, as a professional, you must handle it the right way. Okay. And the way that you're going to do that is you're going to have to have a plan. And so my plan again is scripture, right? Be swift to hear and slow to speak. That means Ashley, zip it, listen, right? <laughs> my second thing is to live a peaceful and quiet lifestyle. 
You do not need to be having any drama in your business because guess what, you guys? This is another thing, too, that I kind of learned this week. But whatever that I allow in my business, in my child care business, in my business now, I'm actually kind of allowing that in my home. If I allow a parent to come in and be, and, and be um, you know, hostile towards me or my team, guess what's going to happen, you guys? Well, you're going to bring that home, Right. You're going to bring that energy. That energy is going to come and creep into your home. And when you go home, you're going to be moody. Or if, let's say you, you know, decide to uh, keep that parent on board, right? And that's okay. But again, you are inviting that into your, not only your business, but into your home. And so we got to be careful about what we allow in. Okay. Is, is anybody following me here? Right, because we know that your business, your whatever goes on at your child care business, y'all, we know that um, it's it's just almost like a biological thing that that you're gonna bring that stuff home, okay? And so anyway, I hope that if you're dealing with an angry parent or you've dealt with an angry parent, or listen, after quarantine, you guys, it ain't over, okay? <laughs> it ain't gonna be over. People are gonna be going back to work. There might be a little bit of a brief of happiness and joy and all those good things, but then people are going to be going back to work or you're going to still have people looking for jobs. It's just going to be, there's always going to be something, right? We live in a world that, you know, most people are just not really happy. Power. That's just it, yeah. right? Most people are just not happy. Um, so with that being said, you guys, you I'm going to end this video right here. And if this has resonated with you, I'm going to leave some links down below if you want to connect with me, if you're new to me or anything like that. Um, hang on just a second. No, don't touch it, babe, okay? It'll knock it all down. Um, and so, anyway, I'm going to leave my community group. Stay over here, sweetie. No, go around that way. Mommy's almost finished. Y'all see my mama face getting ready? Come on. <laughs> um, so, but, uh, yes, I'm going to leave the community group. If you're not a part of my free private Facebook group community, Come on in and join us. Uh, we do try to do little different things in there. You can ask questions and just, uh, it's just a great place to be. Uh, if you are, what else do I want to say? Oh, the if you're trying to get started, okay, um, I do have a how to get started roadmap guide. Uh, you can download that. So I'll, all this stuff, I'll leave the links down below. And also go ahead and visit ashleybins.com for more information on different training programs that I offer and um, all those good things. So, Okay. Thank you, Tiffany. Lena says, amen. Everyone deserves respect. Yes. Yes. I do agree with that. Tiffany says, we get it. I have the mama look too. Yes, honey. It's quarantine. I'm sure we all got that mama look. So thank you so much. I appreciate y'all being here. Please. I just want to um, also just let you know that I'm so proud of you guys for hanging in there with your goals and just keep pushing you guys. We're going to get through this and we will be back to some form of normalcy. Um, and, um, I know that God has a plan for each and every one of us. Um, even if we have bad weeks, uh, angry parents I always say that it's not happening. It's not happening to me, but it's happening for me. And that's, that's, that's what I want to live to. So, um, until the next time you guys stay blessed, uh, try to enjoy this time that you have. If you're, if you're in a slowdown time, you guys just really enjoy it take this opportunity to continue to work on your child care business to continue to um uh gear it towards you know strive it towards perfection and you guys i think that's all that i have right now i will see you guys in the next video thanks so much for joining bye